you. Good evening, everybody. Oh, <laughs> good evening. Oh, my kids make me laugh. They say the most stupid, random shit I've ever heard in my life. Bless them. I mean, about when my son was about seven or eight, we're in the car, and he just goes, well, I never. I said, what's the matter? He says, well, PSE today, mummy. I found out that boys only have two balls. I said, well, yeah, that's right. Well, how many did you think he thought he had? He goes, I thought we had 14. I said, what do you think you are, a bloody abacus or a Newton's cradle with all your balls jangling around? How are you going to walk to school like that? Bloody hell, child. Anyway, more recently, he's going through puberty, which is another challenge. And he said, uh, guess what, Mum? I've had my first pube. Oh, great. Thanks for letting me know. Great. Had? Yeah, well, I was in the shower. And uh, I thought it was one of your hairs, so I pulled it and only realised it was my pube when it hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then there's my daughter, and I'm no joke. No joke, we were travelling along to Scarborough in the car and there's a minor accident by the side of the road. And uh, she was looking at it and she went, oh, look at me, turtle necking. I went, I hope you mean rubber necking and you're not shitting yourself. <laughs> and I, not a 18, 18 years old, I couldn't believe it. And then, you know, I'm a teacher and the kids that come in the classroom, they're just as bad. And uh, this girl comes in, she goes, well, you never guess what, miss. I said, what? She says, well, I've just found out in PSE. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, not, P <laughs> not PSE, the, the lesson where all the children suddenly find out the shit that they didn't think was right. I'm like, for God's sake. She says, yeah, miss, did you know that there are male midwives? I said, yeah, yeah, male midwives, that's right. She says, I'm not having any bloke down there when I'm giving birth. I'm like, bit late for that, love, bit late for that. <laughs> I looked her in the eye with all the wisdom and pain I could muster and I said, sweetheart, you will not care who's there when you're giving birth because we've all got our own birthing stories and pregnancy stories. And bless her, my daughter came out to the cry of, I'm shitting a melon! <laughs> Luckily I wasn't and she turned out all right, bless her. So anyway, I'm here raising money for the British Heart Foundation. And uh, my cousin, bless him, he's he, through their research, he's managed to have a pig's heart. And uh, he lives a very full and very happy life. And, um, but he did come from public school, so I think he may have exchanged bodily fluids with a pig before. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not sure if he went to the same school as David Cameron. <laughs> Anyway, a little bit more about me. Uh, I've been a town crier for 20 years. <laughs> and uh, to be a good town crier, you've got to have big lungs, a big chest, and a very strong bell end. Because <laughs> you've got to ring this thing all day. You've got to have a very strong bell end, or you get a very bad wrist. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and in town crying circles, I'm actually known as Gobby Bird. Uh, luckily, that is for my loud voice and not my blowjob capabilities. <laughs> Although, I haven't really had many complaints there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you after. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I've, I've, I have been, talking of blowjobs, I have been orally fixated all my life. I just can't stop putting things in my mouth. <laughs> Are there a few of you afflicted with that? It's like pens, cigarettes, town criers, cocks. <laughs> <laughs> Although they do need a bit of help these days with a bit of Viagra. <laughs> Bless them. Anyway, I've been Lizzie Shaw. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day.